Hey, Ghostbusters fans! You'll never guess what I got in store for you today. It's the Extreme Ghostbusters PKE circuit. Before I power it up, let me show you some of the features. Over here, you have two illuminated push buttons. The red one's the power button, the green one is the mode button. Over here, you've got the speed control knob. And over here, you have the volume knob for the piezo speaker. It's powered by a 9 volt battery and it features 8 bar graphs with green LEDs. Down here you have the Arduino Pro Mini. You can also see that all the knobs and switches are attached with Molex connectors so you can detach them if the need arises. Up here you have the two LEDs for the antennas. Now let's power it up. I'm just going to pull the shades down here. Okay, so we're all set. Now I'll just hit the power switch and you can see it power up. Pay attention to the startup sound and how the lights fade in. You may not be able to see the fade effect very well on the iPhone, but it's definitely there. If you notice, in addition to the bars, the background is lit up. That's to mimic the look of the cartoon, and this looks more interesting. You can see that background fade in with the bars in the startup sequence. Now, if you notice up here, it's hard to pick up on the phone, but these LEDs are actually pulsing in brightness. They're not flashing. They're changing brightness smoothly. Now how about I turn up the speed here a little bit. I really wish you could see the actual speed of the animation here, but maybe if I zoom in on a little bit, the phone will pick it up a little bit better. The animation doesn't look as fast on the phone as when you're actually looking at it. It's going pretty fast right now. As you speed up the meter, the LEDs pulse more quickly. Right now they appear solid on the phone, but you can actually see them pulsing when you're looking at it. They're pulsing maybe 10 times a second right now. And as I increase the speed, It's now at full speed. In the lights above, you can still see flashing, or rather pulsing, at full speed. Now I'll reduce the speed again. And now we're back at the lowest speed. Now, let's see what this mode switch does. I'll pick up the mode switch, bring it over here so you can see the display, and when I hit the switch, the display changes. In this display mode, you see that you've got the four bars in the middle of the screen, moving up and down, with the middle ones moving faster than the ones at the outside edge. And the lights up here, instead of pulsing, now they're flashing. 
And as I increase the speed, they'll flash faster. Just like on the RGB PKE. You'll also notice the sound has changed. So now I'll turn up the speed and you can see the screen animate. Now once again, I have to blame my phone for not showing you what is actually appearing on the screen. But, uh, basically, imagine a kind of a sine wave <laughs> is on the screen. The two bars in the middle are moving up and down opposite each other at a high rate of speed. And the two bars on the side are also moving up and down opposite each other at a lower rate of speed. I'll slow it down now, but uh, first I'll show you the uh, LEDs up here. You can see they're uh, flashing very quickly. Reducing the speed now. The, uh, the flashes are also timed with the beeps. And um, I'll turn the speed up here again. To about halfway. And now I'll hit the mode button again. And you see you can switch back and forth between the two modes. It's a smooth transition. And how about I show you the uh, power up animation again? Power it down. So there you go. Oh, wait, one more thing. The volume control knob. If I turn the volume control knob, see the beeping goes away. And now I'll turn it off. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.